at Blizzard, our primary business all these years is we, we make games, we make really big video games for people to come together and have adventures, get lost in you know, a big fictitious world. Every Blizzard game from Warcraft on has really had a, a, a root, a foundation in story. And I, I think we really see ourselves as, as world builders as much as we do game designers, game developers. And the worlds we build to substantiate those games, um, we've always tried to make very flavorful, very soulful, very distinct um, in their details, in their histories, in the, the cultures that populate these worlds. We all grew up playing this game, even if we worked on it. We, we grew up playing in, in Azeroth and playing these worlds, and we kind of want to share the experience of Azeroth with our kids. What if we crafted a story that was younger, a story from a kid's point of view? Um, how would they see the world of Azeroth? And so that led us to coming up with the Traveler Conceit. We're trying to develop this idea just to sing to as many people as can, as can hear the tune. And in particular, we felt that Scholastic was a perfect partner because they reach so many young imaginations. They really brought an incredible editorial staff that knows the youth market and really love the project just as much as we do. We had talked about creative partners, you know, who, who could we get to tell this tale? And Greg Weissman was a name that came up. We're like, oh, we could possibly get Greg. You know, Greg's this monstrous talent in TV. And, and so we were really fortunate to, uh, to get Greg attached and get his passion attached and bring his unique story mind and his unique voice to this project. One of the things that's sort of great about World of Warcraft in general, and one of the things that attracted me to the project, without a doubt, is that there's so much there, it's so large, the world is so rich that, you know, there may be some big expansion going on in the game over here, but our story starts out much smaller than that. So the protagonist of Traveler is a kid named Aram. And to put it simply, he's the son of one of the world's greatest explorers. And through you know, a series of unfortunate events, he, he washes up on the shore at the far end of the world. Um, and ultimately, um, with some of the lessons that dad taught him in a magic compass, Aram's got to find his way home. You know, what Aram really is to himself is Aram is an artist. He's got a sketchbook, which was a gift from his stepfather. And he's constantly sketching people and places and things in this book. The people he's sketching, they see that he's sketching, and that changes their relationship with him as well. It becomes a major factor in the book. The fact that Aram's an artist isn't incidental, it's uh, significant. Then over the course of his journey home, he's gonna make friends. He's gonna make friends with the most unlikely, you know, motley assortment of exotic creatures. And in that way, ultimately find that you know, home is where the heart is. And, and these, these characters become his family, they become his friends, and as the stories go on, and the, the big mystery around the compass becomes a little clearer, these are his companions along the way. You don't have to know what a Tauren is because you're gonna learn it with Aram. That allows a newcomer, male, female, old, young, to also learn about this. So it reaches both the hardcore fan and the newbie. I want this to be a book that someone who's been playing World of Warcraft for 10 years will read it and go, yeah, that is the book I've been waiting for. You know, this is a story set in this world that really gets what World of Warcraft is. I want to make sure that we get it right, that this is canon, that this is in continuity. So we're going to make sure that everything is as dead on correct as it can possibly be. I love that Warcraft can be all of these things, from a feature film to a giant video game to a series of young adult novels. But each expression has its own purpose, has its own gravity. Traveler teaches me things about Warcraft I did not see before. It opens me up to Warcraft in a way that a single video game doesn't just by itself. So I'm very thankful for Traveler, I'm very thankful for getting to do this, for Scholastic to agreeing to build this series of stories with us.